all right what's up everybody here's another review this one's going to be of the leg um, we're just going to go ahead and start it from the top and work our way down first muscle we want to look at happens to be this muscle up here looks like somebody was giving their own test we've got what's known as the psoas major now you probably remember the psoas major from when we were talking about the muscles of the body trunk this is the exact same psoas major if you rotate this model this way you can see the lumbar vertebrae right here and so that lets us know oh yeah this is the same psoas major that originated on the lumbar vertebrae and then it passed through the pelvic uh, girdle and then it went on to insert into the femur this is that same psoas major now he has an accomplice that helps him move the leg it's known as the iliacus and the iliacus actually sits in the iliac fossa sometimes we refer to the psoas major and the iliacus together as the iliopsoas and they're a muscle complex that work together quite frequently also we have here at the front of the leg the sartorius muscle which wraps all the way around the anterior portion of the leg the sartorius muscle is also known as the taylor muscle it's very important muscle for people who play soccer uh, anything where you have to cross your legs also very important muscle for those people who do horseback riding and ride uh, ATVs also we have a very important walking and jogging muscle known as the tensor fasciae latte very small muscle but very important muscle as well also here we have a large band of connective tissue known as the iliotibial tract also known as the IT band from the name iliotibial you can get, guess that it originates up here at the ilial, uh, iliac crest and then it runs all the way down here to the tibia very important piece of connective tissue in your leg we continue the rotation and we're here at the upper leg where you would find the gluteal muscles this model has its uh, gluteus maximus removed so if we put the gluteus maximus back let's see if I can do this with one hand we'll soon find out this is the gluteus maximus which uh, as I said before was actually detached from this model you can see it here it is the largest of the gluteal muscles now we'll just remove that very quickly and we can see the gluteus medius which is directly underneath and then underneath that would be the gluteus minimus which you cannot see on this model but you do need to remember that it's underneath there also underneath the gluteus medius we have a muscle known as the piriformis known for its pear shape it's one of several of the rotator muscles which are all categorized or uh, at least grouped here which we'll talk about those later if we turn the leg around to its anterior view and step back just for a moment if you look forward you can see what we call the quads or the quadratus femoris muscles that includes our friend the rectus femoris rectus meaning straight with the fibers going straight down femoris because it's running along the femur we also have two muscles on both sides over here is the vastus lateralis vastus meaning wide lateralis because it's on the lateral side of the leg vastus medialis vastus meaning wide medialis meaning the medial side of the leg all three of these muscles along with the uh, vastus intermedius which is underneath this rectus femoris all four of those muscles together help to uh, flex your femur and to extend your knee use it a lot when walking and running if we rotate the leg to a posterior view and we back up just for a minute you can see the you can see the hamstrings you have three hamstring muscles back here number one you have the biceps femoris muscle then as you continue to rotate you have the semi hold up trying to keep it from from rotating on me you have the semi tendinosis and you have the semi membranosis so you have the bicep femoris semi tendinosis and then the semi membranosis 
on the medial side of the leg or the inside of the leg as you can see here on the inside of the leg you have your adductors uh, your adductors like the adductor magnus which is funny because on this model you can't really see uh, just how wide the adductor magnus is it's the largest adductor in your leg you have the adductor longus excuse me I'm sorry this is the adductor magnus this is the gracilis this is the gracilis muscle and this muscle is the adductor longus so you have the adductor longus here you have the gracilis and you have the adductor magnus a student once told me that the way that they remembered these guys is that you have the adductor longus the adductor magnus and these are two brothers and they have a big sister named gracilis then as you look towards the lower leg just a few muscles to talk about down here you have the uh, dual area or the dual lobes here of the gastrocnemius believe it or not gastrocnemius also is known as our calf muscles they give it the name gastrocnemius because they said that it looked like the belly of a baby calf and behind the gastrocnemius if you can see it behind the gastrocnemius you've got the soleus muscle the soleus muscle is a flat muscle they call it the soleus muscle because it looks like a sole fish which is a flat fish kinda like a flounder that you find in the Mediterranean Sea and so when you wrap this around you can see this flat muscle here underneath the gastrocnemius and the gastrocnemius and the soleus muscle both share this tendon that runs all the way down to your calcaneus your heel bone and this tendon is known as the Achilles tendon or the calcaneal tendon when you turn this model around and you take a look at it you can see some very interesting details such as the fact that here's the tibia and that's the area of the tibia that we commonly refer to as the shin and just beside your shin is a long muscle that runs all the way down to here this muscle is known as the tibialis anterior which you can see where you get the name from it it's uh, on the front of your tibia on the anterior side of your tibia henceforth the name tibialis anterior also just beside the tibialis anterior happens to be a muscle known as the extensor digitorum longus and that is the uh, leg cousin of the extensor digitorum of the arm and you can see that this muscle goes all the way down the front of your lower leg and then it uh, inserts into your toes and then last but not least are two muscles on the lateral side of your lower leg you have the peroneus longus and you have the peroneus brevis also known as the fibularis longus and the fibularis brevis and that completes our review.